So, the Rare Breed Trigger Saga continues, this time versus BDU, Big Daddy Unlimited, today on John Crump News. What is up, Wolverines? It is me, John Crump, investigative journalist extraordinaire. Go ahead and start a conversation down below in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. Head over to my Discord where we talk about really cool stuff and you can be a part of the action. Today we are talking about Rare Breed Triggers. There's a good chance that you found my channel because I broke the news of the ATF serving Rare Breed with a cease and desist letter. So a lot of people came to my channel because of that. But today we're not talking about Rare Breed versus the ATF. We're talking about Rare Breed versus Big Daddy Unlimited. Big Daddy Unlimited sells a bunch of stuff online. They have a subscription model where you can get stuff cheaper by joining BDU, Big Daddy Unlimited. Big Daddy Unlimited was formed from Big Daddy Guns, which is located in Florida that had some controversy recently with a police buyback, but that's not what the story is about. Rare Breed Triggers accused Big Daddy Unlimited of ripping off their FRT-15 trigger. Rare Breed used to sell exclusively through BDU, then BDU came out with the Ride Open Trigger, which was remarkably similar to the FRT. Both triggers are a forced reset trigger. Basically, what happens is it pushes your finger forward, you keep pressure on it, and you pull the trigger again, and so not another shot. It enables the shooter to shoot really, really fast. After Rare Breed was hit with a cease and desist from the ATF, Big Daddy Unlimited started selling the Wide Open Trigger. Rare Breed filed a complaint against Big Daddy Unlimited claiming that they violated the patent that Rare Breed holds on the FRT-15. And it went to a judge. Now, it's very, very hard to get a preliminary injunction in a patent case. It's almost unheard of. But in this case, Rare Breed did get a preliminary injunction against Big Daddy Unlimited. The judge named Robert Hinkle ruled that there is overwhelming evidence to show that Rare Breed would likely succeed on the merits of the case. The judge said that this case cannot be necessarily remedied with award of damages. That's because Wide Open Enterprises, which produces the Wide Open Trigger, which is owned by Big Daddy Enterprises, all it would have to do is lock the doors and walk away because the only thing that Wide Open Enterprises sells is the Wide Open Trigger. So if they lost the case, they can just shut down the business and would never have to pay any damages. So the judge awarded the preliminary injunction on that too. And it is kind of true that Big Daddy Unlimited, all they would have to do is shut down Wide Open Enterprises and then they wouldn't have to pay anything because Wide Open Enterprises is technically a separate business. It is a separate LLC from the rest of Big Daddy Enterprises. So what does this mean for Wide Open Enterprises? It means that they cannot market, sell, offer to sell, transfer or import the wide open triggers they're done they're off the market and wide open enterprises cannot produce another trigger similar to the wide open trigger and also the people that work for wide open triggers the officers agents servants whatever they cannot start another company and produce the trigger over there Basically, it is saying that Rare Breed owns the patent, and if you continue to manufacture it, you are going to be liable for patent infringement. This is a preliminary injunction. This is not the final injunction, so things can change, and I will keep you informed as we get more information and as the court dates come up and the trial moves forward. All right, my name is John Crump. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Be sure to subscribe and remember Wolverine's mother.